guys, and welcome to the video. Okay, guys, so Blizzard just dropped patch 113, and it's a massive crowd control sources changes. Here we go, guys. We made various changes to mods abilities and elite affixes that apply crowd control effects, including cold enchanted elites that attack in quick concession, ghost archers, snake brutes will no longer proc the cold enchants enchanted at every hit. So obviously CC in Diablo 4 has been completely out of whack, guys, and uh, yeah, we should be CC constantly all the time anymore. Chilling Wind will now spawn overlapping walls less often. How many times have we been frozen by that? Loads of times. The stun ability from the Cannibal Gorger can now be more easily avoided now. Thank God. Increase the cooldown of the Cold Goatman's Icy Pillars. Good. Reduce the amount of chill applied from the Cold Spider attack. The stun duration, guys, and the Gregory Snake Eyes now are 1.5 to 1.25 seconds. That's a little bit better. Personally, I would like that just to be one second, personally. The stun from the Cannibal Gorger, that thing hurts, man. Enemies can now be now be more easily avoided as well. Uh, other changes that can reduce how often players can be targeted by crowd control. Developers note, these changes are aimed at the player having less time to be in crowd controlled and receive more recovery time after being crowd controlled, especially at hard world tiers. So, I don't know about you guys, but... Especially in like Mercy's Reach, when you're farming that dungeon in a high high world set, man, it's fucking it's horrible. You, know, you just get CC big time, so should be less CC now. General, the death explosion from fire enchanted monsters released one less wave now, and deals twenty percent less damage. I've been died to this multiple times in one shot, so that should be a lot better now. And also, guys, the bloated corpse fiend's charge attack is reduced damage now. It's been reduced by fourteen percent, so we should be able to take a hit now. <laughs> Should I take it here? Hey, we. Hello. Yeah. Affixes and items are now sought down more consistently. We are just on how affixes are displayed on an item. Tool tips in the Season of Blood. This change will lay the foundation for our ongoing work of making random affixes more easier now to compare. Good. Uh, the seasonal and my class filters in the Codex of Power menu are now remember. They're set in previously selected by the player. Good. Now we get the glyph upgrade menu on controller, and I feel more natural. I've never used controller at the moment, so apparently that works now, guys. Achievements, trophies, and challenges with shared unlock criteria across platforms now transfer via cross platform progression. Okay, guys, there's a ton of bug fixes here, but there's one here near the end of the, of the, the post, actually. We need to read that, actually. There's a ton of Sigma Legler fixes here. Absolutely, I'm going to bore you reading all this. There'll be a link to these patch notes in the description of this video, as usual. Man. Gameplay. So look guys, uh, when the following skills and powers are applied by a player on a monster, other players was unexpectedly able to benefit from this effect. This issue has been now fixed. It's a bit of a shame actually guys, because Decrepify. I always use this in a group, because uh, debuffs with the uh, for rest of the group, but they've now fixed that now. Same for Shadow Blight, Twisting Blade, Shatter, Paragon Nodes and Glyphs that have been changed now. So other players can't benefit. It's Hemorrhage, Exploit Weakness, Revenge, Dominate, Fang and Claw, Dead Razor. And amplify dead breaks. That's mad. Okay, so that's been fixed. Uh, fixing an issue where Dreads, where a Druid player's inventory could fill up with spirit blessings, blocking progression for quests. Now I'm associated with it. Blah blah blah. The fix the cinders are going to a cellar now. It's been fixed. Alright, let's have a look. Uh, fixing an issue where players could be temporarily stationary when trying to evade immediately after casting a channel spell. So sorcerers with your lightning storm, etc., etc., incinerate now, guys. Should be a lot better. Fix the issue where treasure goblins did not drop a guaranteed legendary item. When defeated between 15 and 40, that's been fixed as well. And fix an issue where multiple bosses were not guaranteed to drop legendary items at 35 and beyond, guys. So all the other bosses that weren't dropping now are going to give us more fat loot. It's lovely, lovely. Let's do a little cheer for that. More loot the better. <laughs> right, let's have a little look. Right, user interface. Let me quickly see if there's anything worth shouting out here quickly. Okay, where is that? Uh, PC for Pogus, don't catch track, this could be placed like the same update. Alright, let's have a look. There you go, that's this here, man. Fix an issue where rogues could use concealment to skip a phase of the echo of the Lydf encounter. That's now been fixed. And there you go, guys, that's the patch note so far. What do you guys think? Finally, Blizzard are addressing the crazy amount of CC in Diablo 4. It should be a lot better now. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the panel show. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Subscribe for more. Shout out to Twitch for behaving yourselves. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Thanks for watching. GG. That'd be lovely. Well, this car is automatic. It's systematic. Hydromatic. Damn you, weep. <laughs> but it's Grease Lightning. Yeah.